All right, guys, so it's time for round two. If you guys missed the first video, make sure and check it out. I'm Anthony, and this is Breakout Daily. So this is video two for our Comic-Con comic book haul. And uh, let's dive into some books, shall we? So this first book is, uh, I know there's a variant that's popping on this, and I think this was a dollar, but I'm pretty sure it was a dollar, and that's the Magnificent Miss Marvel, number one, and it's in an oversized bag. It's in a silver, silver bag, it looks like. Anyways, good looking cover, good looking comic, uh, it's in good condition, but for a buck, it's uh, well worth it. This next book I've actually, I was looking for because I thought I got a copy of it when it came out and either I misplaced it or I didn't, but this book is climbing and it's doing well, anticipating the new TV show, Hawkeye. And there it is. And so I've all I've seen on this book recently is it just keeps climbing. And as it gets closer and closer, once we start getting some trailers and once we start building it up, I think that book is going to pop <clears throat> here's a newer book um i picked this up again for a buck and i was happy to do so because we know this guy's in uh the new black widow movie uh this video was recorded before black widow was released so we'll have to see how badass he is and that is taskmaster taskmaster number one and again this isn't like the first appearance or anything close but it's still you got to appreciate some of the number ones and i think that was a buck this next one was a buck as well and that's runaways number one uh the next one like i said i've been trying to pick up some uh in the first video i was talking about it i've been trying to pick up some keys uh with spider-man and i this isn't a key but it's still uh one of the hundred markers and that's another thing I've tried to get because I've got, uh, what do I got? ASM 800 Shattered. I got, a, I, got, I got a couple of these books. And so ASM 600 goes nicely into the, it's funny how this thing, somebody wrote on the back. So they wrote on the back. There's a bunch of weird shit because these were, common books these weren't like direct from the people i think it says i can't read it ross and ramada jr wrapped cover i think is what it's saying on the back i don't know anyways there it is it's a good looking cover yes uh yeah amazing spider-man 600 it's worthy it's worthy it'll go nice in my uh, spider-man collection I'm trying to get rid of the crap though, because I did have some crap sitting in the uh, Spider Man, in my Spider Man uh, collection. There, where I'm looking at, I'm like, man, get these out of here. In in fact, that's one of the catalysts for me doing these this video in three segments because these books have been sitting here for days, and it's like, okay, put them in the collection, put them in the storage boxes on some of the some of the ones that I don't think are going to do much, but get them off the desk. Stop moving them around. Stop screwing with them. Um, the next book goes into my uh, collection. I think I mentioned this in the first video. I have a growing Invincible collection. And when I see some, I try to buy them, especially if they're a good deal. This one was a buck. Number 129, Invincible. So like I said, it's it's been an ongoing collection, uh, collecting uh, PC kind of thing, personal collection stuff for Invincible. Love the show on Amazon Prime. Love this story. Robert Kirkman did an incredible job. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, this next one is a cool Wolverine variant cover. In fact, I got to pop it back open. I cannot recall which book it is. <laughs> I, for whatever reason, I can't can't recall. Anyways, it's a great cover. Virgin cover, obviously. Or else I'd be able to tell you what it is. Nice and clean. This was a buck as well. Next book, I can't remember. I think it was 10 bucks. Maybe it was five or 10 bucks, but... This I bought with the uh, Spider-Man 8 from the last video. And that's Super Crooks, number one. 
And it's funny because as soon as any of these shows, this is now option for Netflix, or is is in, I believe, I don't know if it's in production, but it's going into production for Netflix as a part of the Millar verse. They cancel, the, and I don't know if they fully canceled uh, Jupiter's Legacy, but this plays a part in that world. It's a four uh, comic run, and uh, if you watch the last video, you know I, I showed you uh, what four, three, two. Here's one. So I do have a full collection of Super Crooks, which is awesome because I want to see what they do with it, and I'm, and I'm genuinely excited. So talking about Mark Millard, these are a couple of other books that I was super happy to see there, and again, I got them for a buck, so I, I feel like I scored. I do got to find some more of these. That is Starlight number one, which is also Mark Millar. So there's this there's this cover right here. Try to get it. There we go. I had to tilt it forward. That's the trick. So there's that cover. And I also got Starlight number one again with a different cover. Kind of a cool, cool cover. So Stocking up on the Millar World stuff, which, again, I'm excited for because I like Jupiter's Legacy, the show. I know a lot of people didn't like it, and it didn't light on fire like some of the other shows, but I, I enjoyed it. Anyways, I want to share with you a couple of keys that I picked up, and then we've got one more video, and that's the final video for the run on all these books I got from the uh, little mini con. So these books are super cool, and let's start with this guy right here. Um, super happy to add this to my collection. I've been slowly kind of building my Wolverine collection through time and I, I don't have anything epic. And while this isn't necessarily epic, this is heading in the right direction. I feel like if you're a Wolverine collector, you're, you're, you, there's a couple of staples that you should pick up. Obviously Hulk 181 is generally out of most people's budgets. Hulk 180 is growing out of people's budgets, but this is still affordable if you can get a raw copy. And uh, yeah, so this is a newsstand Wolverine number one. And I got this, and it's in good condition. It really is. It's pretty, pretty clean. Yeah, it is pretty darn clean. Let's see if I, let, me, let me do the tilt, the tilt, so you don't get as much glare. Anyways, it, it, it's pretty clean. Um, no crazy spine ticks. A tiny one there. So possible pressing. I mean, the black looks good. The color looks good. So this I got for 65 bucks as a part of a package deal. So I was more than happy to pay 65 bucks for it. And then uh, obviously it goes in that. This next book um, I've been trying to buy for quite a while. And the prices just kept jumping and jumping and jumping. Actually, even at this mini con, I talked to one guy, talked to another guy, went back and talked to the other guy, went back and talked to the other guy. So back and forth because I was like, I have to have this in my collection. This this is a, a pretty big book, but the thing is, is it keeps growing and growing. And I want to get it before it's unobtainable. Because some of these books that I'm going over today with you and uh i'll go over with you in future videos is some of these books can become unobtainable for the the normal guy unless you're really unless you're really banking or unless you really want to do a heavy investment and i feel like this is this is uh possibly going to say, take the same uh route as that uh miles morales first appearance of him to where it kind of gradually built, 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 built. And then it just kind of started to do some jumps. And now it's, now it's in that multiple thousand dollar range. While the, these in a high grade are multiple thousand dollars. What am I talking about? Young Avengers number one. Um, little, little bit of action on the, on the edge there. But again, I feel like if this thing got pressed, maybe Maybe a little, maybe a little bit of cleaning. I don't know. It might be the the mylar case. Anyways, there it is. Pretty pretty clean book. So this book, I worked with a bunch of uh, other books that I'll show in the next video and in the um, previous video, and I got this plus a invincible key. I'll show you in the next video plus twenty or thirty. Um, like dollar books or something for if I remember correctly it was right around 
two hundred and forty bucks. Right around, right around there, I might be off by twenty bucks, but it was like sweet because I got this, and then I got a Invincible Kiyoshu, and the next one, I think I actually got a third book. Oh, I did. I got Hawkeye. So I got Hawkeye number one, this, and um, an Invincible, an Invincible Key. 240 bucks plus, like I said, 20, 20, 25, $1 books. Really good deal. Really good guy, though. I mean, we went back and forth for two days on this and a, a bunch of other books. And I think we finally got to a price where he's like, okay, I want to get rid of the, these books. It was the last day of the event, and it just happened that way. Anyway, super stoked to have this guy in my collection. So another uh, another decent key, though. So the Wolverine Newsstand Edition, the uh, Millar World books i mean like i'm comfortable with these now while all of those books are not great high level books but i mean hawkeye won um and everything else i'm feeling pretty good about that so all right guys we're down to one more stack of books so i'm going to wrap this video up here thank you so much for checking out the breakout daily and walking through some of the books i got from the, the uh, local comic con um, and I've got one more video to post, so you're going to want to stay tuned. And you can easily do that by just hitting subscribe down below. Also, check us out on Instagram, guys, at break period out daily, or on TikTok at Breakout Daily as well. Ton of, ton of content coming out. I appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll catch up with you in the next video.